Right now, we can't diagnose CTE for sure during life. I've been doing a lot of work for 10 years now trying to figure out how to diagnose it based on different types of blood tests and pictures of the brain and PET scans and MRI scans and spinal fluid tests and all these things and trying to figure out how do we really diagnose it in someone while they're alive and we're not there yet. We have a, an idea of what it looks like while someone's alive, but a lot of the problems that someone has with CTE are the same problems that might happen with many other disorders, many other diseases. So it can be misdiagnosed for lots of things. It can be misdiagnosed earlier in life as having bipolar disorder or depression. It can be misdiagnosed later in life as having Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's. But if someone thinks they might have CTE, the best thing that they can do is go to a doctor, go to some clinician who's, who's able to really do a good evaluation and understand a little bit about what CTE is about. But it's really important if someone thinks they have CTE to not just say, I've got it. And if they're told by some group of doctors that you know, might do a certain test and they say, this test says you've got CTE, that's not it. It doesn't work. We don't know yet. Someone who might have lots of symptoms of CTE and who might have a bunch of other tests to rule out other diseases, a thoughtful doctor might say, well, you know, given your history of repetitive head impacts and given your symptoms and the fact that we don't think it's this disease or that problem, then it may be CTE. But that's as good as it can get. No one can truly be diagnosed while they're alive with CTE yet. But we're getting there. I'm incredibly hopeful that within five years, we're going to have really good new tests to be able to diagnose CTE during life. 